Hello there, welcome to the Sky Food channel. Today I show you something about the harvesting of the eggs of Salmia Rizzini. Um, you see them here. In a cage where of originally also the caterpillars lived and you see the fecal pellets here on the bottom it dried out completely and there were some cocoons left in this dirt and they managed to survive and to come out and now they are here a very beautiful uh, species of Samia Ricini it's uh, originally the Indian uh, subspecies so there are some of them some subspecies because as you know they are um, also bred artificially for producing silk or also for uh, eating they are uh, edible insects now you see here how beautiful they are Samia Ricini from around the Brahmaputra Valley the Indian strain let's say there's different strains i originally got them from thailand where they were introduced in the 70s and um, now they have a, a big boom there because it's an interesting insect because it uh, eats a lot of uh, leaf material uh, that you don't have to plant yourself that is already there like manioc uh, for example that is one of the most famous plants and of course originals then plant that gave the name to this insect Samia Rizzini. So and now how do I do that? And you see here in this box but I also prepared a big box uh, here. Um, I, I let them pupate inside one of these cartoons that you probably know from the cultivation of the Bombix mori, the uh, mulberry silk moss uh, just to show you how they come out here and how beautiful they look here if they have time and the right uh, angle to blow up their wings and uh, of course that's happening now is this one is fresh freshly here here you see some eggs already laid and the poop paws I try to put them on this like like this so that if they come out they can grab to the cartoon and um, spread their wings also here there's a lot of eggs already deposited and then if I have if I see that I have some pears I put the pear as it is in a little plastic cup like here for example where you see that is a, a male and a female mating here and then they just don't move around in this time so you can just leave them in this uh, in this little cage and here also they lay the eggs as you can see here they already started to lay the eggs sometimes they are connected very long so I was also asked from friends so how long does it last sometimes it lasts till they die with the Somio uh, Rizzini but what do I do to send them away so if you want to have this wonderful insect for breeding this is the number one urban farming insect that's my opinion because you can breed it on prunus laurel cerasus the cherry laurel that is abundant everywhere near the cities in the gardens as a um, fencing uh, shrub or also ligustrum that's very easy uh, to breed also in the winter time it's a tropical species there's a lot of generations each year just 10 days or 12 days after they lay the eggs the next generation starts going and for the pupa sometimes one month is the longest time that they stay in the pupa so what I do I do normally I prepare to send uh, away the the eggs I prepare a little uh, cartoon thing like you see it here with a, with a hole, well, let's put this beautiful lady here back so that we have to look for, for a male for her then so yeah it's like this I just cut out from a piece of cartoon like this then I make a hole 
and here I put, I cut out a round thing in the middle like this, and then I glue it on to a, a postcard or something like this one here from the Sky Food Council. And then, if it's on this postcard, that's the perfect thing to put the X in here. If I here you see there are X here on the here you can see them then I just take them out like this and put them into this so officially so I know that this um, this is important that you have seen that they have made it because it can happen sometimes that the females, even, even though they don't, uh, have not made it, that they start laying eggs at the end of the lifespan. And then you have unfertile eggs. That's really bad because if you send it away to a lover of insect and there's no caterpillars coming out of the eggs, that's really bad. So, and then you see when it's like this I just uh, yeah, let's make it under the lens then you can see it a little bit better here also I have some five eggs more so that's if you if it's filled like that that's a lot more than 50 eggs then I put a piece of paper on it like this and then the tape to just uh, fix it on the top. Do not put the tape directly on the eggs because sometimes there are poisonous things on the on the tape glue side uh, on the fungi and, and also on the insecticide sometimes. So that would not be good for the eggs. And so that's already. And now it goes into the in the cuvée and away to you. If you like, you go to the Sky Food page www.skyfood.ch. There's a letter form on the bottom of the home page where you can write that you would like to have some eggs of some your Regini and then I write you back. But it has to be the next 10 days because already after five days at least they are dead because these are insects that are only uh, made for mating and then they die after they lay their eggs it's a pity because they are so nice beautiful insects like you see here but they are not long living and so you have to be uh, very quickly ordering these eggs of some Yoritini because um, I only have them for the next 10 days and afterwards they just come out uh, from the eggs, the new generation. Thanks for watching. Hallo, willkommen hier beim Sky Food.